What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing Iron Hands and Brute Bonnet on the rank ladder, considering it is February 1st and it is the first day that Series 2 rank ladder is live. You guys are no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, what are you doing? Take two seconds out of your day by scrolling down a little bit and clicking that big red subscribe button. But before we get started here with today's scene preview, you guys know I gotta give a huge shout out to the team creator, Cantor Clark. Thank you so much for making this team and thank you so much for making this team a rental code for everybody to use. I will be linking your channel down in the description below. So definitely guys, go check them out. Also, I will be leaving the Poke Paste down there if you guys wanna recreate this team or see the stats more in depth. But let's get started here. Top left hand corner, rocking out with Iron Hands on this team. And Iron Hands, as I've been seeing, is arguably one of the best Paradox Pokemon in the game. It's super bulky, super strong, hits like a truck, cannot go wrong with this guy. This one has Quirk Drive as its ability, the Assault Vest as its item, and then it's Rocket Fake Out, Close Combat, Drain Punch, and Wild Charge for an amazing moveset for Iron Hands. Second Pokemon is going to be Indeedee, and Indeedee is going to be strong for two reasons on this team. One, it pairs up with Arm Rouge, and we have Arm Rouge on this team. Second reason is just great support mod all around with Follow Me and Trick Room. Cannot go wrong with Indeedee. This one has Psychic Surge, the Focus Sash as item, then it's rocking Psychic, Follow Me, Shadow Ball, and Trick Room. Third Pokemon is going to be Brute Bonnet. Brute Bonnet is really good. Its defensive stats are solid, its HP stats are solid, and its physical attack stat is really good as well. This one has Proto Synthesis alongside with the Booster Energy, Rock and Crunch, Spore, Seed Bomb, and Sucker Punch for an amazing moveset for a Brute Bonnet. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Don Dozo. In Series 2 is here, and I feel like Don Dozo is going to be sticking around a little bit longer. It's still very, very strong, very, very good, paired up with the Tatsugiri with the Commander. Just can't go wrong with it. It has Unaware as its ability, the Leftovers as its item, and it's got Order Up, Wave Crash, Sleep Talk, and Rest. Bottom left hand corner is Arm Rouge. And like I already mentioned, Arm Rouge is super strong with Indeedee. We're going to be seeing those in a couple of battles and probably lead them because considering that lead is very, very good as well. It has Flash Fire, Life Orb as the item, Expanding Force, Armor Cannon, Wide Guard, and Trick Room for its four moves. Final Pokemon is going to be my little boy, Tasu Gummy over here with Commander and the Safety Goggles as the item. It's got Dragon Pulse, Muddy Water, Draco Meteor, and Protect. Not too bad on the special attack side, but it's really only there to pair up with that Don Dozo. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with his Iron Hands and Brute Bonnet team. I'm a little upset, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to sit here and lie. We are 1-0. We won our first battle, but I recorded everything. The intro and match number one, and it was an amazing battle. And I look over to my right on my recording software, and I did not hit the record button. So I was like, yo, come on. I just killed it in my battle, recorded at a great battle, and ended up not recording it. It is wild, but we're 1-0 in the brand new series. This is going to be our first battle for today's video, going up against a Flutter main team with Warm Moon, Hariyama, uh, Farigarath, and then he's rocking with Grimmsnarl and Torkoal. So he can definitely pop Trick Room with Farigarath. It's definitely an option. Farigarath is definitely a really good Pokemon, but who should I go into and how should I play this one? I feel like going into a Pokemon more so like... I could lead Don Dozo and Tasugiri. I could do that. That wouldn't be bad, right? Like, who leads it? That could throw off our opponent. But he could rock with Fake Out, because I feel like Hariyama's going to come out here. So I'm going to go Indeedee, and I might just lead Armor Rouge, right? No Fake Outs on the field. I kind of dig that. And then I can probably pop Trick Room, roll out from there, and then bring Brute Bonnet and Sh Shiny Hands, or Iron Hands in this instance. I dig that. I dig that a lot. I really do like that. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. The one Pokemon that I'm really scared of is going to be... The Torkoal, first of all, and Trick Room Torkoal is just absolutely amazing. And the second Pokemon I'm definitely scared of is going to be Roaring Moon. I think Roaring Moon we don't really have too many counters on besides our Iron Hands, but we have to get off Trick Room. I really wonder who he's going to go into. I really do. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. But if he leads Torkoal, I might just want to counter Trick Room. Trick Room seems like it's going to be a pain. Because again, Torkoal's just it's him. He is him in Trick Room. Torkoal is him. I do have a uh, Water Brute on that, which could be good. But he's going to end up going into Grimstar and Flutter Man. So Grimstar and Flutter Man comes out here, probably setting up a screen, something along those lines. I feel like Trick Room's an absolute must for us, correct? It seems like we have to pop Trick Room. I could go into a Shadow Ball. But I feel like, I feel like we have to set up Trick Room. So I'm going to Trick Room here. And I feel like I just Armor Cannon this thing, correct? Because it just drops her defense. 
Oh yeah, we, we're going straight into an armor cannon into the Grim Snarl. I'm all about it. So Fluttermane's gonna come out here first, set up the light screen. Kinda saw that coming. So screen's gonna be definitely very, very good. Helping him out tremendously. And Shadow Ball's gonna fly here. Which, can you eat that up? I think you can. You cannot, yo. Fluttermane ripping. Ripping me. The Fluttermane comes out here, just dumps on my armors. Okay, I was thinking that we can eat up a Shadow Ball from that thing, but I don't... I don't really know the power of the Paradox Pokemon too much yet. But we get off Trick Room, which is really good. I could Spore Fluttermane, which I think I'm going to do, right? Bring out you and just start Spore and get work from there. Or I could bring out the Iron Hands. I think we saved the Iron Hands more so. Yeah, you know, I'm going to bring out you. I'm going to Spore the Fluttermane. Get a little Spore action going onto that thing. And I guess we'll just Shadow Ball that thing too. The Pro Synthesis comes out here. Boost by attacks out, which is really good. Let's boost my lovely attack, and yeah, we're just gonna straight up Shadow Ball you. And I'm gonna Spore it at the same time. Give me no reason not to. You give me no reason not to just double down into you. But yo, look at Amoongus. I did not know this, but this Amoongus form has a tail. It looks like a little dinosaur, right? Look at its little stubby legs. He's awesome. Fluttermane protects. No shot. No shot that I don't get my first video on recording, and then I'm getting dumped on here in match number one. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, but a great, great protect from him. Probably going into, yeah, I was going to say a Spirit Break. Into Ndidi, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. So we'll see what he wants to do from here. Be a swap, right? There's no way he stays in Fluttermane. Right? No way you stay in with Fluttermane. I think I have to Shadow Ball that slot, right? What other Pokemon do you have? I don't think he swaps into anything here. I said we go with the same move. I said we go same move. We have to. It's free plays. It's just free spores here. He doesn't really have too much to swap into. Well, as long as he doesn't land double protect, I feel like we're sitting fine here. The screens are here. He did not set up a real fight, which is good. Moose is physical attacking. Or brute bonnet in this case. And he does withdraw fluttering, but who are you swapping into? Is the real question. Ariyama's gonna come out here. I'm fine with that. We put to sleep. We, you can't trigger guts. We get a nice little shadow ball off onto it. Okay. We can deal with that. Spirit Break coming in here. Probably back onto the Indeedee. Yeah, dropping my special attack. That's fine. That is fine. So special attack is getting dropped here. Shadow ball gonna fly. Mm hmm. How can I? How can I start getting after this battle? This one seems tough. I mean, obviously a Psychic here. My special attack is down the dumps. And then I just double down to Hariyama? Seems like your play. Just to keep double down to Hariyama. No Reflex out and about. Get out my boy Iron Hands next turn. Still, that's... Ooh. It's looking tough with Flutter me. Hariyama's gonna be slumped. It's fine. We double down into it. Seed Bomb coming in high here. It's going to be able to soak pretty well here. Actually, wow. Wow. <laughs> that damage. That's a big time damage. That's a big time damage. Okay. We know Fluttermane's in the back end. We don't have Protect on Iron Hands, which kind of sucks. But what's your terror? It is water, which is really, really good for us. I get to go into you. Iron Hands out and about. Can't fake out due to the terrain. And we're looking to grab ourselves a win here. I'm trying to think of how I can do this one. I really don't want to close combat. I'd rather just straight up dream punch into this thing. Do I say Hariyama's asleep for another turn or do I just get rid of it? I mean, I have Sucker Punch to just dump on it, right? Sucker Punch can pick up the chaos. So I'm going to double down into this thing and say Hariyama slumped for this turn. Considering I need Hariyama to be slumped and no Reflex out so far, which is huge. So we're going to hope that this thing doesn't set up a Reflect. So reflect could be a problem. It could definitely be a problem. Yeah, we're gonna hope Hariyama's asleep one more turn. Yes. So Hariyama's asleep. That should cancel out the terrain, right? Terrain should end next turn and I should be able to suck punch. But he does end up setting up a reflect. Her soul. Drain punch still gonna fly here. Chipping up a little bit of damage. We do have the protosynthesis out here. And Brute Bonnet's hitting pretty hard, but reflects here. And yeah, he's soaking up some shots now. The Trick Room is gone. I do outspeed Hariyama now, and that disappears. So from here, do I close combat for KO? I mean, he obviously wants to go into a fairy move, right? And this might be my time to thrash us. Hmm. The real question is, do we think Wild Charge might KO? 
Because I don't want to drop my defense. I really do not want to drop my defense here. But just stick with drain punches. Yeah, might as well, right? We'll get our HP back. So I'm going to go do that. And I'm just going to sucker punch you. Actually, you outspeed that Hariyama now. Now the trick room's gone. So C bombs just free play into the Hariyama slot. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. So we're going to end up Thrasslazm. We have a decent battle going on here. It's not over just yet. It's not over just yet. We have no protects on our Pokemon, but we do have Spore right here. And we're gonna hope Roar Moon's not here, because Roar Moon's gonna be a problem. I mean, I got Hariyama to kind of counter up on it. I can hit it with a close combat if it... But they probably have Thrasilization. Spirit Break and a Flyer. Gonna be super effective. We should be able to get rid of both these Pokemon, right? My special attack is going to drop. Sea Bomb coming out here. We get rid of Hariyama. And a Drain Punch, probably not gonna pick up the KO, but I can always Sucker Punch it next turn. I can always rip this thing with a Sucker Punch. So Drain Punch coming in here. Mm, lives on one, but he does not know I have Sucker Punch, which is pretty solid. Ah, dang, Reflect, man. Reflect doing me so dirty. It's doing me so dirty. But we're going to see who he's going to bring out here. It's going to be Fluttermane. So Fluttermane's going to come out. I don't mind the Flutz. I do not mind the Fluttermane. I can't hit that thing. I have to go for a Wild Charge here. So wild Charge coming out and about, and obviously I just want to Sucker Punch you. Sucker Punch coming out of here. Big time plays, yo. The Paradox Pokemon coming in hot here. Yo, Brute Bonnet's looking sick. Getting some work done. We started off really, really bad in this battle, but our back end's doing really good. Green's gonna fly here. If I KO my Bonnet, yeah, Bonnet's gonna go down here. Mm. My boy somehow clutches up. Wild Charge's gonna fly here. The Reflex doing me so dirty. Like, that's your KO. That's your KO. I'm taking recoil damage. And who's he gonna go into from here is the real question. It's gotta be Roar Moon. Roar Moon comes out here. And it's definitely flying terror type, but we're gonna hope that it's not, right? We're gonna hope that it's like steel. <laughs> we're gonna hope it's steel, because he's definitely trash sized here. And we gotta get off drain punch. Because if I get off drain punches for recovery, Iron Hands can clutch up. Iron Hands is that bulky guy. He's him. Iron Hands is him. Yeah, what a first match. What a first match. We definitely it's so bad in the beginning. But I'm so upset because I'm telling you guys, the first match that we won, you guys saw it on our record that I wasn't recording on was so good. I had Brute Bonnet killing it. Iron Hands getting some work done. But I Worm Moon protects. It's a little weird. But that's smart play. Well, I could have just dumped on that thing, but Shadow Ball's gonna fire. How much are we soaking? Oh, don't give me a drop. Cool. Yeah, that pretty much puts us in a tough spot here where I don't think we can soak up shots. Light screen's gone. Reflect is still out of bat. We, we gotta go for Dream Punches. So I just mashed A on that one. We have to go for Dream Punches. The thing is, if we can somehow survive, those Shadow Balls can come out. Can we survive this next shot? I don't think we're surviving this. I don't think we're surviving this, but we, if we are, that's huge throw chop. No, we don't survive it. Wow, dude. Man, if he didn't protect that first turn... We could have been thriving. We really could have been. Because I would have KO'd. I would have got back a ton of HP. And I could have just taken out the Flutter main. But match number one goes to her opponent. It's all good. We're going to start off 0-1. Look to hop into her second battle and grab ourselves our first victory. I think our opponent did not want to Thrasilize there because it was flying and we were Electric type. So kind of makes sense. But really came down to a wire there in match number one. But we're hopping into our second match here. Let's see who we're going up against. And let's grab ourselves a win here. We're going up against... Whoa, whoa. Scissor team. I'm go you're going to be seeing Scissor a lot on the rank ladder. Scissor is taking over very good at countering a few Paradox Pokemon, so I really do like that Pokemon. But they're also rocking War Moon and another OP Paradox Pokemon, which is going to be the Iron Bundle, the Deli Bird futuristic form. Really, really strong. Great typing with that water and ice. You gotta love that Pokemon. But I do have the Brute Bonnet to counter it somewhat, but it is ice type. That's a problem. That's a huge problem. It's a huge problem. But I do have Shiny Hands, pretty good too. But he also has Dragonite, Mousehold, and Skelly there. So from here, I feel like Iron Hands is just going to be a good player. So I'm going to go Iron Hands. And I think I'm also going to go Arm Rouge. Arm Rouge without Indeedee could be really solid. Because I could fake out, go into Trick Room, and then go from there, right? I feel like that's a pretty solid play from us. I'm worried about the Skelly there. So do I go Indeedee instead? And just set the train? No, because then we can't fake out. That's a problem. So, you know, I am going to go armors. I really want Trick Mirror. And I'm bringing the Brute Bonnet. And then do I bring my boy right here without... Without... What's it called? That could be good without... I think I'm going to bring Don Dozo without... 
little fishy gummy. I see it sometimes on the rank ladder. It actually works pretty good considering it's bulky. It's physical attack set's pretty good. And if we're popping trick him, I feel like we can get off a lot of work. I feel like we can. So we'll see who our opponent wants to lead. I'm kind of worried if he goes into Skelly Dirge, I would have to Thrasilize. But we'll see. Let me warn Moon alongside with Dragon. Okay, so Dragonite might be in our focus. So from here, I would like to just fake out the Warren Moon slot. It seems like our best bet. And then pop Trick Room and go from there. Seems pretty sim simple, right? Seems very, very simple. So fake out's going to go into here. And then just pop the Trick Room. Easy, simple turn one. As long as he doesn't just Terrasse slides into something and KO my Arm Rouge, I think we're chilling fine here. I think we would be chilling fine here. But he's going to end up protecting. That's fine. That is totally fine. Are you double protecting? No, you're not. So what are you doing with Dragon? What are you doing with the Dragon Knight? Dragon Knight is so good. It's very scary. East Speed's going to come out here. It's fine. That's fine. The Trick Room's out and about. The Trick Room is here. So now we have Trick Room, and... I could obviously Drain Punch here, but I could predict a Terra here. I could predict the terror. I think I'm gonna predict the terror. I think I'm gonna predict the flying terror. And then just take off multi scale here. Who's gonna terror? This is tough. This is real tough. You know, I'm gonna terrasalize myself. I'm gonna terrasalize you just in case. You know, we're just gonna stick with Drain Puncher. Play it simple, turn one, and then expand the force. I'm gonna hope that Roar Moon's not Terrasalizing. I'm Terrasalizing here. And this is just in case, like, say he Terrasalized here, or say he didn't Terrasalize, just so my Iron Hands can stay in the back. No, because I don't want that thing getting hit by an Acrobat. It would just be a problem. So I'm gonna Terrasalize my Iron Hands into straight water. I'm gonna dive out from there. And he does not Terrasalize. That's a huge turn from us. So E speeds are flying. That's fine. Drain Punch coming in here. Probably KOing, right? My boy Iron Hands. My boy Iron Hands ripping up here. And I'm thinking of swapping my Iron, Iron Hands too. Because if he's E Speed, I mean, we can eat up one more E Speed, which is really, really good for us. We're going to take off Multi Scale here if it is. Yeah, it seemed to be Multi Scale. And I'm thinking of swapping into Indeedee here just to protect that turn one. But at the same time, I'm really, really liking my Iron Hands in a lot of these situations. So let's see who he brings out. I mean, if we E-Speed, we our armor does go down. So it really depends who he brings out. And we know he's going for E-Speed. We know he wants to KO. And he's going to go into this Pokemon. Whatever this is. Also, okay. Obviously, I could Drain Punch. But it is going to Trasalize. And you know what? I'm just going to swap into Indeedee here. Oh, I did not bring Indeedee. Okay. I did not bring Indeedee. <laughs> I kept saying to swap into Indeedee. But we don't have Indeedee. Um, I don't mind that. I do think that this thing has Terra. Terra Ghost. Do I want to make that read? I feel like we just had to double down into this. I'm going to double down the, into the mouse hold. I'm going to double down the mouse hold. It might Terra into Ghost. I did not want to Drain Punch. That's exactly why. I think it's Terra into Ghost. That's got to be Ghost. Mouse hold, right? Yep. 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 Jeans with the read, baby. We like that read. We like that read. I think we take it out, too, because we're doubling straight down into it. Unless this E-Speed takes me out. He does not E-Speed either. So Wild Charge flying. Woo! Jeans with the plays. Jeans with the plays. Go ahead, Armors. Go ahead, Armors. Big plays by us. We're getting rid of Mousehold and the Terra. Let's go. Match number two. Your boy's looking good here. Looking real good. He's probably going to take out Armors if I had to guess, right? I mean, if not, you're just going to have to deal with another Armors armor cannon coming out here. <laughs> but it's all good. I, I kind of hope he takes him out, because then I get my Brute Bonnet out there for a little bit. He can get some work done. But, yo, Iron Hand's ripping. Frank Claw's coming out here. That's totally fine. We get out the Brute Bonnet, and I feel like from here, it's just a simple Spore onto the Dragonite while we can. And then go from there. Seems rather simple. So the Brute Bonnet coming out here, yo, that's a huge read from us. I thought the Roar Moon was going to take Terrestrialization, but it ended up being that, that Pokemon. And now he has Skelly Dirge. I've done those to counter that up in the back end. Not really worried about that Pokemon. More so worried about this Dragonite. So my booster energy did bulk up. And I could <laughs> I could straight up Drain Punch if I wanted to. But I'm just going to go after Dragonite. I'm going straight after Dragonite. 
Gotta get after Dragonite. But Brubana is boosted energy, and it has Sucker Punch, which is gonna be huge. I'm gonna Wild Charge this thing. Almost KO it. I could just double down into it. That's fine. I'm just gonna spore it anyway. I'm just gonna spore it anyway. Night, night, Dragonite. Noit to noit. And then from here, it's probably just a Sucker Punch crunch play. Actually, we're dead. No, we eat. Wow, dude, this thing is bulky. <laughs> this thing is so bulky. It is so bulky. It is so bulky. How many turns left in Trick Room? We still have one. That's lovely, isn't it? That is huge. That is huge. So from here, another Wild Charge coming into the Dragonite slot. Right, yeah. Wild Charge. Why is it going after my Brute Bonnet? <laughs> we're going Wild Charge in the Dragonite. And then we're just going to Crunch. Skelly Dish has no first turn priority moves. We outspeed. That's huge. That's huge. Dragonite slumped. Night night, little buddy. And Wild Charge flying here. So, Dragonite, get on out of here. And now it's showcase power of Brute Bonnet here. Brute Bonnet is an absolute menace. You guys just seen how bulky it was. Soaking up a Torch Song. Now you're about to see that attack with the booster energy. Crunch coming out here. Thought it was going to do more. I kind of overhyped that. But still, that was some good damage. Torch Song coming out. That's going to take us out. But again, I'm not worried. I have Don Dozo right in the back end. And I have my boy, Water Terra. Iron Hands just chilling. So we're thriving. We are thriving now. We are absolutely thriving. Loving it, loving it. Match number two going perfectly. We're showcasing Iron Hands here. Brute Bonnet in the battle. Getting out all the Trick Room. It's working perfectly. We're 2 1 on the series after this win, and we're 1 1 for today's video. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Bringing out the shiny catfish. It looks so dope. But I'm not going to lie, Brute Bonnet might be one of my new favorite Pokemon. Just because it has like a little dinosaur tail and little stubby feet. It's adorable. It's adorable. I really like it. It's front side's a little weird. It's front side is definitely a little weird, but it's cool all around. He goes for a slack off to get HP back. Kind of dumb considering I'm ripping into you with this wild charge. And I have a Don Dozo on the field, which you obviously know has wave crash. And it's just going to take you out. We're going to say see you later to this thing. GG. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our first win for today's video. We're rocking out at 1-1. One one. Let's hop to our final match and look for a winning record. We just killed that second match. We're sitting at 2-1 at the brand new series. Maybe I should start showing my rank more often. I know a lot of you guys like it. So maybe this series, we might just try to push very hard on the high ranks. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see me push very, very high. I would love to do it for you guys. But we're going up against an Iron Hand and a Flutter main team. Alongside with Palpin and Rain Pelper. Then he's got Megler and Moongus alongside with, what is that, Goldigo? Yeah, Goldigo. All right, how am I playing this one? Fake out Iron Hands could be solid. Could definitely be solid. I feel like Trick Room, we, we need it out and about, right? We need Trick Room out and about, and I might go Indeedee and Arm Rouge for a lead. Because Indeedee blocks the fake outs. We can set up pretty much a free Trick Room. I can always tear my Arm Rouge if he leads the rain combo, and then we can just go from there. Sound good? Sound great? Sounds pretty solid, right? It sounds really solid. It sounds really solid. I'm about it. I'm all about it. So I'm going to go them two. I'm bringing the Brute Bonnet. I'm bringing the Iron Hands. You know what would be crazy? If we lead the Don Dozo alongside with Tasu Giri. That wouldn't be a bad lead looking at this. <laughs> it wouldn't be bad, right? I mean, he could fake me out. That would be a problem. I don't have uh, Protect on this thing, right? That would be really cool to do, though. I do not have Protect. That would be so dope to do. Well, I could set the terrain and swap into it, but you know what? No, no, no. We're, we're, we're showcasing Iron Hands Brute Bonnet, and I feel like this is a better combo here. But that's the only problem with me trying to push high ranks, is I switch teams every time I play a or do a video. So I can't get used to just one team. And plus, I'm trying to showcase that one team at the same time. So I'm not going into the best plays that we should be doing. I'm just trying to showcase the team. You guys know what I'm saying? So pushing the rank ladder is definitely very hard for me when I'm recording. Because again, different teams every single time. Different teams every single time. But he's going to end up going into Palafin and Pelipper. And I feel like this is just a swap into Terra Grass. Pop Trick Room with Indeedee. And then... Oh, no, no. We don't want to ter Terrasalize you. We want to we want to just Trick Room you. Let me just Terror you. And I go into an Expanding Force. That's definitely my play. That is definitely my play. He just straight up withdraws Palafin. That works even better. So the Palafin get the withdrawal, and he's going to go into Iron Hands. And this could be awesome. This could be big time from us. I cannot believe he just went straight into that. Because now we get off a... A, we get off a Trick Room. Like, the Trick Room is pretty much guaranteed unless he hurricanes me and gets a confusion. 
And then B, we get off this expanding force, which is big time for us. The, oh, never mind. Never mind. Pelper brings out the wide guard. That was actually an amazing play. I'll give it to him. Amazing play. That's actually a really, really good play. Really good play. Question here is, do I go for another expanded force? The thing is, if we go for another expanded force, we just force him to use his turn, and we can just keep psychicking down. I'm with it. There's no point of us using armor cannon. Wow, wide guard Pelper. Hard read. I like that, yo. That's, that's a great move. That's a great move from our opponent. Great play with the Paloops. He's going to wide guard again. Like I said, I don't mind just keep sending these things to have him go for wide guards because I'm dropping psychics with Ndidi. That's fine. Drain Punch can do a little bit of damage to us, but on top of this, we get we get one with Ndidi. And Ndidi should do a nice chunk of damage, right? Ndidi should do a nice chunk of damage. I could hard swap here. I could definitely hard swap. But we go right into this. Getting off some big time damage. So obviously I want to go into another psychic here. What do I want to do here? I could bring out my Hariyama. Could definitely bring out my Hariyama. Or I just... Or I just go into another... Expanding force, right? <laughs> I'm going for it. No wide guards. No! <laughs> I was hoping he was like, all right, this dude has enough. I gotta keep going into wide guards. It's an absolute must. He's gonna drain punch me again. That's fine. If I if I, if my arm rouge goes out and his iron hand go out, it's a solid turn from us. That's a really good turn from us. Alright, now the, the real question is: Does he go into another wide guard? I don't mind him blocking my wide guards. I really don't. Because if I like Iron Hands is that good, if I can get rid of it, we're sitting in a good position. Hey, you know what? We're gonna do this, and we're just gonna go for an armor cannon at this point. Just to knock off uh knock off Sash if this thing has it. But we're probably dead anyway. I wonder what he's gonna do here. No way wide guards again. <laughs> Thing just going for wide guards all day. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't mind that. And we're doing damage up against this, uh, Tariyama. Just for Drain Punch, and he's just gonna stick it. No wide guard coming out here. And that was actually a smart wide, no wide guard play because he knew that Hariyama was gonna go first. Well, not Hariyama, Iron Hands. So cool. We're saying bye bye to Iron Hands. That's a solid turn from us. And he's probably just gonna go for like a Hydra Pump. And let's see what he wants to do. Hopefully he misses whatever movie he goes for. It might be a hurricane. Because we know Pelper Sash. Like, we 100% know Pelper Sash. Trickham has, like, one more turn left in it. And he ends up landing the Hydra Pump. The April Soak, which is really good. And from here, we're going to the Bonnet. I think Bonnet is just a great call for us. Because we can Spore. He can sport whatever Pokemon he wants to go into, and he's gonna go into Fluttermane. The Fluttermane comes out here. Who are we sporting here? Wow. Who do we sport here? I can't sucker punch right now. I say we Shadow Ball that slot down. We can't Terrasilize either. Let me just sport a Pelipper. That's my play. Fluttermane protects. That's fine. Sport comes out here. We put the little Pelipper to sleep. So Pelipper's going to go to sleep. Um, hmm. Hmm, this is going to be a good battle. He still has Palfin in the back end too. The Pelper's asleep. Uh, we gotta go for Trick'em, right? We gotta go for Trick'em. That's absolute must. We gotta go for Trick'em. Try to go after here, though. 
I think I gotta go after Fluttermane, right? I'm gonna go after Fluttermane slot here. Maybe the Palper is asleep. We can get off this next trick and this could be huge, huge for us. So he's gonna end up thrasizing. Probably in a straight fairy, right? Probably in the straight fairy, correct? Hopefully not. Yeah, that hurts. Should've went for seed bomb. Should've went for the bombing of the seeds. And he's just gonna go for a game, correct? Gleam's gonna do dirty. He's gonna do us dirty with Gleam. Moonblast. Who you going after? Go after my Brute Bonnet. Go after Brute. Go after Brute. I like that. I like that because now I get off a of Trick Room. Now I get off a of Trick Room. Hold up. This just got interesting. This just got really, really interesting. This just got really interesting. Because now I bring out Iron Hands. And I feel like we have to fake out the Fluttermane. And then take off Sash if it's here. Onto that, that Pokemon. Onto the Pelper. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to help Pelper sleep again. That could be huge. That could be huge. That could be huge. Went for the Moonblast. I thought Gleam was flying. Gleam was definitely to play, but maybe he didn't have the Gleam. Fluttermane ends up protecting. That's fine. We're going to hope that Pelper's asleep one more turn. The Pelper's asleep one more turn. If it's asleep one more turn, this could be big. Oh my god. Indeedy. <laughs> Yo. Indeedy. Okay, Palfin's gonna come out here. Uh Jet Punch is terrifying. But Fluttermane's also terrifying. I have to get rid of you more so than anything. I'm double down of water here. Please no jet punches. Be a kind soul. Be a kind soul. Or just protect the Palafin. Yo, and he just stumped on Pelipper. For no reason. For no reason. That hit hard. That hit hard. So, I think Fluttermane... No, didn't Fluttermane boost his stats? Maybe I should have just followed me this shot. Jet Punch coming in here. I think we're dead to this Moonblast. I don't know. Can we survive this Moonblast? Can you survive this Moonblast? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yo, okay. So all we need to do is eat up this jet punch. Iron Hand's ridiculous. We took like no recoil there. I think we eat up this jet punch. And the rain stopped. And the rain stopped. Yo, no shot. No shot we win this. And the rain stopped. We have Trick Room out and about. We have Trick Room out and about. Woo! He protects. I think we have one more turn. I think we're fine. I think he needs to land like a double protect and then like a wave crash, which we still might eat up, right? Yo, Iron Hands and Indeedy one tap in Pokemon. <laughs> this is such a good battle. How many turns left in Trick Room? We got one left, so he has to go for a double protect. And I'm just ripping with the Wild Charge right here. Right into the Palfin slot. Wild Charge comes out of here. If you're not Sash, it's game. We don't KO? He's going to KO himself to recall. Okay, cool. We win. We win. Okay, okay. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. That is totally fine. Cannot believe that Palafin survived, but what a comeback with Iron Hands here in match number three, giving us that winning record and bringing you guys some amazing content. So guys, I am 3-1 in the brand new series. So close to Master Tier. I think if I win one more, I will go all the way up considering I am on a two-game winning streak. But like I said, we are 3-1 in this lovely series too i will showcase the team one more time right here in the little rental codes for you guys i got a bunch of cool rental teams for you guys but uh where's this team at where's it at where's that it's right here there it is guys three and one for today's video rocked out with iron hands got to showcase that pokemon to its fullest potential like i said in the beginning i think this pokemon is arguably the best paradox pokemon and i feel like we showcased it in today's video dominated in battle number three had a crazy combat comeback and then we also had brute bonnet in today's video and brute bonnet this was my first time using it 
I absolutely love this Pokemon. One of my new favorite Paradox Pokemon based on design, and it is super strong all around. It's attack stat is high, it's defense stats are high, it's HP stat is high. It just works so well on this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.